Hi all, welcome to Zebu School uh, Market Opening Report and moreover after a very eventful day and uh, uh, due to some technical reasons we would are uh, unable to do uh, the live uh, report analysis yesterday. I would already informed in my telegram channel in the morning also. So now coming into the market. So how was the day? Like for the yesterday and moreover last three to four days how was the day? So this is actually the real scenario where you need to be like learning the skills. So if you ask uh, what is the uh, uh, tone for the market, why it is moving. So for the storytelling, it is required. But as a trader, you need to be aware of the fact that uncertainty can hit you at any point of the time and any point of the day. Uh, no matter what you do, you just need to only survive. So with that note, we will just see. So what has happened uh, over the, like we were expecting uh, FOMC, that means the Fed meet to announce its trade decision. But what came out of syllabus was Yesterday, suddenly RBI uh, governor announced uh, there is a meeting at 2 p.m. Even I was assuming that uh, they are going to prepare the market for the uh, rise in the next RBI policy meet. But uh, with everyone's surprise, uh, uh, immediately they announced the rate hike in the uh, both the cases like repo rate and moreover CRR also hiked. Repo was hiked by 0.4 percent and CRR was hiked by 0.5 percent. So what as the market has reacted is the knee jerk reaction and moreover people were thinking that it is going down but looking at Fed the market has uh, opened the upside. So if you look at what is the yesterday price action, yes price action for the yesterday is was a clear trending sell day even from the morning the market was making lower low and even data was confirming. Uh, uh, even uh, when I was taking class 2, my students on an <coughs> for the Zipu school, I was telling them this is a clear trending day, don't do any buying. So it was a clear trending day, but even uh, we do not expect that to happen. But even whatever the surprises coming in the market will always come in the direction of the trend. So you need to be always aware of the trend and also ensure that uh, data is in your side. And moreover, if something bad happens, ensure that your risk is the key element which is going to save you. So with that note, uh, so we will just see yesterday price action was bearish. Okay, so we are in the sense market opened and then closed around days low, both Nifty and Bank Nifty. But if you look at yesterday's low, so already the price structure, if you look at how it was, so let it be Nifty or let it be Bank Nifty, 16,900 to 800, and Bank Nifty it was 35,800 to 900. So ma what market was doing for last three, four? Days. So it was rising, it was taking support and almost 4 to 5 times it has taken the support and yesterday it has broken the support. So same way Nifty also like in Bank Nifty also it was taking the support but suddenly it is breaking. Now what is happening? So leave about all the news has been over and even uh, let the price factor in every news what we need to see is as per price action. So the status is now and moreover because of the uh, Fed meeting outcome. So Fed has said as expected raised 50 points and moreover the commentary was in a good direction the market has started taking in a positive way. So now market is rising. So so what is the plan? Right now if you look at higher time frame market is in sell on rise but don't sell here maybe wait for the swing points or the retest points. So these are the key levels where I will be looking for sell. So I am not going to do initiate uh, bigger trades for because if you look at our videos I have been saying last 3-4 days I am not going to initiate bigger trades for the week assuming like not assuming stating that it was a truncated week moreover it is a kind of news filled week and we were expecting Fed to announce but RBI came out of syllabus. So you need to be aware of all these facts and all also like when uncertainty hits you need to be taking care of your risk is the key. So. How, so we will look at yesterday's price action. So now it is opening somewhere here. So what I do is I might be waiting for sell on rise but not this expiry. Maybe for the next expiry I will be initiating my position. So till this I is broken out. Structurally till this I is broken out I will be looking for sell on rise. That is the uh, game plan for the next week right now. So but I do not want to short at the support maybe where I will get a favorable risk reward and moreover the probable swing point the next probable swing point I will be looking for <coughs> and I will be start taking my portions in that direction and if you look at FII and DII so again I generally do not concentrate on individual numbers but if you look in that aspect so almost FII were sold for almost 3.3k crore and somewhere around this was done so this was a sell 
this was a buy. So net, I generally always calculate net as a outflow or inflow. So yesterday was a outflow, outflow of minus 2.3k crore. So again, the price action was bearish. Uh, even if you look at the data, by looking at the fall, the data was bearish. And moreover, looking at the institutional data, it was bearish. So market is sell on rise. So please be aware of that fact. And it is trying to retest. And maybe today's expiry, there might be a uh, more rally also in the direction because we have already sold off from here to here. There is a possibility that small spikes can happen because of the today's expiry. So if you can today safely overcome today's expiry, then you can think about the next week. So next week positions can be initiated. That's what my plan is. Even looking at today's, as soon as the market opened gap up, what I did was very simple. I took a spread in bank, uh, spread in bank Nifty. So this is somewhere around 36,200. What I did was I just sold 1,000 quantity around 23.4 or 24 hours so before starting my video. I just did it, but I don't did it, did it in the open way. I had a spread. So I just had a spread and just came to shoot the video and maybe now market is exactly at somewhere around this place so nifty if you look at it is somewhere around 16847 and moreover bank nifty if you look at it is 35 uh, almost 680 so this is the place now market is at and moreover vix is the all the news flow has been over and the expected news is over so vix is almost down to 7 to 8 percent so down vix is down and the thing is still it is trading uh, uh, closer to 20 but yesterday it was trading around 21 rupees uh, now it has uh, done its part so what is happening so even if you look at price structure so yesterday if you look at the entire flow so pivot is somewhere around this point so i am just waiting for pivot level so as soon as i see pivot level maybe i'll be jumping as a seller but not as a blind seller ensure that you have huge margin of safety in case market goes up so this is the game plan for me today and moreover uh, ensure that today expiry you safely sail over and do it and then maybe for the in the evening like we will share like i will be sharing what is my plan as the day ends so hopefully like uh, you would have enjoyed watching this kind of learnings and moreover we just wanted to scribble and do instead of drawing something in the app. So hope you enjoyed this format and thanks for watching. Signing off, Damodaran.